Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the life cycle of the red blood cells. So as we know, the red blood cells are, have three main components and they all have to be recycled or eliminated in order to be giving us or in order to start a different life cycle for another red blood cell. First of all, we're going to be talking about the first component, globin. Uh, globin is a protein and it is going to be degraded into amino acids, the basic form of the proteins, and this is then going to be transported with the help of albumin to the bone marrow, and this is where it's going to be stored for the uh, usage and the production of more amino, uh, more uh, globins. Next, we're going to be having the iron or the Fe2+, and it is going to be transported by the transferrin and the transferrin is also going to be transporting this iron to the bone marrow where the uh, production of more red blood cells is going to be occurring. Now, uh, regarding the third and important, most important point, we're going to be having the protoporphyrin. Now, protoporphyrin is going to go through a quite strenuous um, process in order to uh, then get eliminated and it is as follows. First of all, the protoporphyrin is going to be get, it's going to get degraded. Uh, using the enzyme heme oxygenase into biliverdin, which has a characteristic green color. Next, this biliverdin is going to be degraded with the help of the enzyme biliverdin reductase into bilirubin, which has a characteristic yellow color. Remembering these colors is going to be making it much easier for us to remember this whole process. Next, this bilirubin is going to be transported to the liver using the albumin, and then from the liver, they're also going to be transported to the different uh, to the kidneys or to the intestines also using albumin. If they go to the kidneys, then they're going to be eliminated as urine. If they go to the intestines, first of all, the small intestine and then the large intestine, they're going to be undergoing some degradation with the help of the intestinal bacteria. And this is going to be converting them to either one of two things. We're going to be having the urobelin, which has a yellow color, which is present, which, what, which is what we see in urine. So this is going to be, uh, and then it is going to be eliminated as urine or it's going to be having a, a brown color, which uh, refers to the, uh, the cercobelin, which is going to be eliminated as species, which also gives it its characteristic brown color. Uh, this concludes the, uh, this lecture based on the uh, life cycle of the red blood cells. If you have any uh, questions, feel free to drop down in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.